Hi, I'm Lauren Slocum with the Central Island Chamber, and today I have David Giordano, owner of Dogtopia of Warwick, with us, who's going to help us learn how to keep our dogs occupied during this time. Morning, David. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. you. Um, so today I'm going to try to do simple things, which we try to do with our dogs to keep them occupied. I have Annie here. She's a nine-month-old Springer Spaniel. Um, I've always wanted to try to catch a ball. Um, she's almost there. Um, she's been playing with me, and then later I'm going to grab Rue out of one of my playrooms. As you know, I'm the owner of Dogtopia. Right now we have about 40 or 50 dogs here, everything from five-month-old five puppies to 10-year-old golden retrievers, German Shepherds, so we had a lot of fun with the dogs. Um, and we also have a lot of pet parents say the same thing. What do I do with my dog all day? So simple little things to keep them busy, keep their mind going, keep them exercised. Um, so I'm going to start out with Annie. Uh, I'll do a little ball catching. All right, Annie, come. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let Annie know that if she's a good girl, she gets a treat. Good girl. Good girl. She, see, she's already watching the ball. <laughs> she's already coming after it. So what I want to do is, Annie, sit. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to slowly give her the ball and slowly lead it to her and put it in her mouth. Annie, catch it. Good catch. Okay, Annie, come. Now, the other thing is for her to bring it back. Annie, come. Annie, come. Annie, come. Annie, come. Annie, come. Good girl. Sit. Next, I'm just going to try and drop it in her mouth. <laughs> Annie, sit. Good girl, good girl. So this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, not all dogs will catch that fast, so I'm gonna stop far away. Right at her. Good girl, sit. Now David, I see you keep giving her treats. So what I wanna do is I want her to stay focused and know that she's doing a good job. Notice, when she sits, she gets a treat. I tell her, good girl. When she brings the ball back, all those positive behaviors, constant, constant positive reinforcement. So she's either gonna watch my hand with the ball or she's gonna watch my hand with the treat and we'll keep taking her back and forth. Eventually, she's just gonna want the ball as the treat. Come on, sit. Good girl. So as you can see, her head's going back and forth, depending on whether I go for a treat or whether I have the ball. Easy. That's okay. Some of you just walked into the room, a little distraction, which is fine. Sit. Ready? Almost. Good girl. So again, I'm going to slowly work back and forth between placing it in her mouth and a quick throw. Good girl. In come. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good sit. As you can see, it's a work in progress. Sit. Good girl. back. Annie, come. <laughs> Annie, girl. She thinks it's too much fun. She just brought it to one of my canine coaches. Annie, Annie. Annie, Annie. 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 sit. Annie. Annie. She comes right back. Good girl. Good sit. Good job. Good job. So with a little bit of practice, as you can see, I don't know how much time is going by. I can basically do this for hours, but it's fun. <laughs> um, you can work farther and farther back. You can have it go down first. Down. How long should you do this for at one time, David? I think um, five to 15 minute increments. After 15 minutes, give her a break. Sometimes I get a little stressed out. Sometimes I'm going to get distracted. But I, always, I never do anything more than 15 minutes. And okay. then give a 15 minute break. I'll throw the ball, let him run around, then try and refocus him back in. After five minutes, you're not getting anywhere. Break it up, shake it up. Let them get themselves tired. And a lot of times what I'll try and do is I'll try and do it before I feed them so they are hungry, so they will respond to the treats. The other thing to do also is at the end of the day, they're tired. They're not tired where they won't do anything, but they're tired enough where they'll stay focused. If 
Like Annie's a spring of Spain. She's got a ton of energy. She can run all day. So usually in the afternoon, it's good with her because she's got a lot of her energy out. She's been running, playing with all the BFFs. Um, so it's, it's, it depends on your dog. So the have, first start then is to get them to sit and that in the mouth. Yes. So sit, watch the ball, put it in her mouth. Know that it's okay. Like my hand, come on, hand. So my, so my hand is on it. She's not biting me. She's got the ball. Put it in. Good girl. Okay, let it go. Drop it. Good girl. And the other thing you want to introduce to after drop it is if you put it down and you tell it to leave it. Leave it. Okay. So leave it's a little bit stronger. Uh, <laughs> drop it. Because she wants that. You can practice leave it with food, with the ball. I'm trying to introduce, I'm probably introducing too many things into one session. So we should break them up and do sort of one at a time. Yeah, so sit. She already does well with sit. So I just want her to jump and catch it. And again, I'll just slowly work it back where I'll do that. So just slowly increase it. It's no different than teaching a child how to catch a ball. Okay. So you can start a short distance, back, 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 back. And it's the same thing. Terrific. So, David, if, if our viewers have questions, how should they reach you? So, the best thing to do is email me at warwick at dogtopia.com or call the main line if you don't get an answer right away. Um, we can answer pretty quickly. It's 903-4900. We're located at 30 Jefferson Boulevard uh, in Warwick, Rhode Island. But again, warwick at dogtopia.com. Also, follow us on Facebook. On Facebook, we do Facebook Live sessions, which we'll do. We'll have another trainer here with me. And we do different training sessions, different questions. You can actually ask the questions while we're here with another trainer on particular things with your dog. So Terrific. Thank, Thank you. you Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you real soon. Thank you. Thank you.